pinnacles do you have, Marissa? Tell the audience. I have six. Oh. I have, so it's about our pinnacle sun line, which is our energy efficient, cool roof shingle. Hey everybody, my name is Kaylee, and welcome back to another episode of Above the Eaves. I'm gonna say, there's just so long I can't remember what you said. 
The color of roofing shingles has no impact on energy efficiency or the internal temperature of a building. A roof ventilation system helps to regulate temperature and moisture, preventing problems like ice dams and mold growth. And lastly, roofing underlayment provides an additional layer of protection between the roof deck and the shingles. I say the, root, the color of your roof. Yes, that one's false because it does have an impact. Right.
I mean, reverted to food. I know, and they're like all kind of sweets, and I know you're not a super big sweet person, so it's throwing me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So Cheddar's, I would say, is not your favorite restaurant. I hope, at least I hope it's not your favorite restaurant. There's so many other good restaurants. Out Sir Jimmy's Curse and are by far the best I've ever had. Okay. Is that a true statement? That, okay, I'm not picking your lie yet. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite candy is Mike and Ike's, and then you love cookies and cream ice cream. I'm going to say... I don't know, Mike and Ike's is your favorite candy. You, you're saying that's the lie. Yep. Okay, well, Mike and Ike's are my favorite candy. Cool. Um, <laughs> I have been on a kick for cookies and cream ice cream recently. So weird, but yes, I love cookies and cream ice cream. Cheddar's is not my favorite restaurant, but I do right. love their cheese curds. They are my favorite cheese curds, mm -hmm. but Cheddar's is not my, there's nothing else I really Should want. Should have gone, done, gone with my the wrong. first one you said, yes, Olive yes. Garden is my favorite restaurant. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I have a favorite, to be honest. But I have, like, my favorite dish at every restaurant, but I don't have necessarily have a favorite restaurant. If I didn't have to go pick it up, I would order Olive Garden every day. Mm -hmm. They don't deliver. What do you get? The soup I, and salad? No. Sticks? I always <laughs> get the chicken tortellini every single time. Really? Yeah. The chicken tortellini and then breadsticks and salad come with it. Yeah. That's what I get every single time. Okay. But they don't deliver, and I don't understand why. They don't even have DoorDash or anything? No. That's just You have to go. That's what I'm saying. You <laughs> have to go pick it up, and I don't want to drive yeah. to Orange City to go get it every time. Yeah. You have to have, like, a legit craving if you want to stop. If it was on DoorDash, I would have spending problems. Fair. I mean, I already get in trouble with DoorDash every once in a while, so. Hello yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you spend yesterday at DoorDash? Um, I think it was like 30 bucks, but I got two meals out of it. Where did you order from is the question, because I spent $30 yesterday on dinner on DoorDash. Um, like where did I order from? Yeah. Um, to spend $30. Tijuana Flats. I got Sonic. <laughs> oh my gosh, for $30? Was it just for you? Yes. <laughs> we Did won't you... talk about what I ordered. <laughs> did you get enough for multiple meals or did you eat it all last night? I ate it all last night. Okay. Again, we won't talk about what I ordered. I'm kind of curious now. We'll just leave it at that. They have a really good garlic burger. Ooh, that sounds good. I do love a garlic One burger. One of the things I ordered. I really didn't order that much. It was just, you know, the upgrading the sides and the sides. Add added. extra cheese to this. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's all the upgrades and, you know, nice tips. So. All the good things, yeah. So we actually got some new swag dropped off to us um, for our Pinnacle Sunline. I was going to ask you what that was. Yeah, and we actually. I knew, I knew, I knew it was a hat. I didn't know it is why a, it was. It is a hat. <laughs> They also gave us um, some shirts and stuff too. It was really cool. Um, so it's about our Pinnacle Sunline, which is our energy efficient cool roof shingle. Um, it actually meets the cool roof uh, regulations where if you get um, a cool roof installed like with our Pinnacle Sunline, then you may be qualified for tax incentives as well if you um, live in the right building code jurisdiction and everything like that. Okay. Um, so you can get some tax breaks as well if you get that shingle. It comes in a lot of pretty colors. Um, I did have a shingle for somewhere. Well, here's two of them. I don't know where I put it. I could have thrown it away, to be honest. We can pop in a picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and the, another cool thing that uh, that's about the Pinnacle Sun shingles is that they actually have 3M smog fighting capacity in them. So it's literally when um, smog touches the granules on the roof, it makes them turn into water and then they evaporate. So it literally has enough smog fighting capacity, like a no normal size roof, like an average size roof has enough smog fighting capacity as two to three trees. So on top of it, like, making your house cooler and everything like that. It's also helping the pollution in the air and everything as well. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, 
speaking of, yes, we do talk a lot about shingles, and there are metal groups that you know play a factor into the you know efficiency for energy and all that. Um, so I did want to talk a little bit about metal. I know we don't really touch base on it a lot. Um, when we do a lot of our posts and everything, it mostly is shingle, and that's because that is what is popular. Um, but I do want to talk about some benefits of metal roofing. Um, I feel like a lot of people just assume that it's out of their price range or budget. They assume that, you know, it's just not an option for them. Um, so, I mean, when you have somebody come out and do an inspection and you're getting an estimate, get an estimate on metal. Just see where it's at price-wise, because um, why not? Um, but let's go into some of the benefits. Okay. Um, durability and longevity. It does last a lot longer than a shingle roof. It can last anywhere between 40 to 70 years. Um, it also withstands high winds, rain, hurricanes, that kind of thing. Nice. Um, weather resistance, um, the resistance to moisture, reducing the risk of leaks um, and just moisture building up in your roof. Um, they also withstand high winds better than most materials. Um, Energy efficiency, let's touch on this, um, it reflects solar heat. So um, it can help cooling costs, especially in Florida, nice. where it's super sunny and hot. Um, another thing, low maintenance, it requires less maintenance than a shingle roof, flat roof, that kind of thing. I mean, with shingle and flat roof, if you have a lot of debris and everything, you should clean that off. Um, but with metal roofs, Usually there, there's no granules or anything to kind of hold that there. Right. I mean, on any roof, if you have debris holding up, like staying up there and you have a lot of trees around your roof, piles of leaves, definitely or clean like it off. But with metal roofs, it just kind of slides down. That makes um, sense. If, I mean, if you have like, there are, you know, metal roofs that can go on lower sloped roofs. But um, if you have a regular pitched roof and you have metal on it, there's going to be less maintenance that you need to do on it. Um, it doesn't crack, it doesn't warp, it doesn't curl. I was about to say, I you think it's combustible it too for like if lightning strikes it or anything like that. It definitely is. Yeah. Um, it's fire resistant. Yeah. Um, so that's another thing you don't have to worry about. Um, it's made from recycled materials. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. That's, in that's interesting. Um, and then just the aesthetic. Some people do just like the look of metal roofs, um, especially the standing seam. There's... Beautiful. Uh, the exposed fastener, which is more of a budget-friendly option, but then you also have the standing seam where it hides all of the fasteners. Um, and I personally love what the standing seam roofs look like. I do too. They're um, beautiful. There's one by my house that I always look at every day, and it's just, I'm like in awe over it. It's beautiful, and it's like in a cocoa brown color too. It's really pretty. Yeah. The colors that the metal roofs come in, um, personally, my favorite would be the black. looks so good. I know a lot of people, when they're looking for a shingle and they want a black shingle, it's very popular right now for a lot of people to have black and white houses. So black trim, black roof, black drip edge with white paint on the entire house. Mm -hmm. um, I personally love that look. It just, I do too. It, it looks, looks clean. so good and clean, yes. Um, and I know with black roofs, a lot of people when it comes to shingle, they want it to be jet black. That's just not how most black shingles are made. Yeah, they're hard to achieve. I was a about to black say color. they usually look more like charcoal, like a little hint of gray in there too. Yeah, is it's what just, I've noticed it's very black hard. shingle. Yeah, so I mean, with the metal roofs, those are closer to being jet black um, than you're gonna find a shingle in. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think I heard someone say before that the metal roofs that we install is pretty much any type of Sherwin Williams color we can get on there. So it's like if you're in love with a color, you can pretty much get that color. Is that not real? Um, <laughs> I know that some of the manufacturers that we use use Sherwin Williams. I just don't know if any color. Right. I don't, I mean, it's possible. I yeah, know. I just know there's a big selection. Like it's easier probably to find a color in that. I don't have to ask. Band. Yeah, that's more of them question. Um, the last benefit that I can think of
think of um, insurance. So um, due to the durability, the fire resistance, some insurance companies will offer discounts. Oh. Um, the other thing is um, they won't come at you to replace your roof sooner. If you have Especially being in Florida, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just think about metal roofing. It's not totally out of the question. Um, it could work in your budget. Um, you don't know if you don't try or ask. So there's also financing options yeah. for all of our uh, roofing materials. So could definitely be worth it. But yeah, just give it a thought. So I think we have a fun activity we're going to be doing. Is that true? Last week, one of the days last week was um, National Chocolate Milkshake Day. Mm -hmm. um, we are very behind on that, but who cares? We're still going to do it. Today? Yeah. Today. Yeah. So we're going to make chocolate milkshakes, but have added a twist. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to do it blindfolded. <laughs> Great. Is this why we have all this? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's all coming together. I went shopping earlier to buy everything. I got ice cream. I got chocolate syrup. I got sprinkles. I did not get milk and I did not get tablecloths. So I had to run out two more times. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it might be the blonde. I don't know. Isn't that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm the natural blonde without the child. Okay. All right. So we need ice cream and all the good things. Yes. I'm going to go hustle bustle. Are you going to grab it? Oh, and now we have the stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna tie your eyes up. You ready? I'm not ready. Okay. You did. They're there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's their chocolate milk here. Oh, thank you. So much. Fun time. You know, when I was buying stuff, mm -hmm. I really was considering buying a little extra something to dump in yours, but I couldn't even find my own, so this looks beautiful. It's not bad. I made a mess. We made a mess. <laughs> that was not bad. Okay, cool. So, have you decorated yet for fall? Um, I have not decorated for fall, but I have decorated for Halloween. I'm doing Halloween first and then fall. Isn't it fall already, technically? No. Uh, not almost. You know what? We're going to rip all the decorations down right now in the office. I know they're they decorated for fall, but apparently it's not fall. I mean, it's not technically fall yet. <laughs> I looked it up. I forget when it is, but it's not that far away. It's like in a week okay. or two. So, 
<laughs> you've decorated for Halloween. Yeah, because Halloween's first. And then I'll take down Halloween and then put up fall for Thanksgiving. And then Christmas. I want to know, like, do you, when you decorate, right, you have your holiday decorations. Mm -hmm. Do you get decorations? Like, for me, personally, I enjoy going to dollar stores for my decorations. But I feel like when I put them up for a year or whatever, I either lose them, they, my animals destroy them, and I end up throwing them out. Do you buy every year, or do you buy good enough decorations that you can store and just use every year? A little bit of both. Um, I usually have, like, my staple pieces, which are, like, the more heavy duty or stuff that I get from, like, Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx or something like that. And then, but every year, every year, I always do a seasonal trip to the dollar store and get cheaper decorations because fill in the empty spaces and stuff like that and then if they do get ruined by my daughter or the animals like you're saying it doesn't really matter because it's from the dollar store and I'm not upset about it yeah and then I try to keep whatever I can and keep my collection growing every year where do you store all of this in bins I build in my attic okay because <laughs> I know I have one of my best friends Sam mm -hmm. she her family, they go balls to the wall with decorations every single holiday. Okay. Like, they have bins on top of bins on top of bins of decorations, and they store it all in their garage, and I'm pretty sure at it because they can't fit it all in their garage. Yeah. But they used to have, like, these um, racks that they would slide. Oh, would I know what you're talking yeah, about. Because yeah, because they had so many decorations, but they have, like, three, four... Every single room has, during Christmas time, every single room has a Christmas tree. It's crazy what they do. <laughs> it's dedication. They take, like, an entire week to just decorate the house. I could never. I actually um, got a Halloween Christmas tree. Just a mini one for my table. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. And then for, like, the tree topper, it's a pumpkin head. It's really cute. That's cute. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> my cats would destroy it. <laughs> my daughter's already trying to take off all the ornaments. And so. your cat just doesn't come home. She doesn't come home anymore. It's fine. I'm home. sorry. It's a touchy subject. <laughs> Have you just started decorating for anything? I gave up on decorating a long time ago. You decorate for Christmas? If I didn't start for Easter, it's not starting for the year. I do decorate for Christmas. Okay. But that's the only decorations I have still. Um, I have to go shopping. See, I, for holidays, I usually decorate my house for Halloween, for fall, and for Christmas. But then I have like an entryway table. Just forget Easter? No, it's just I have an entryway table that I decorate for the smaller holidays. Like I do one for Valentine's Day, I do one for Easter. There it is. There it is. And like 4th of July and New Year's, I like do a cute little setup at my entryway table with holiday decorations. Those I always get at the dollar store. I feel like I just want something on my door. Like outside. a little wreath type of thing? Yeah, because I don't care if it's inside my house is there. Unless it's Christmas. I care. I'm a big decorator. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to be like an interior designer super quickly or something. So I get so much joy out of decorating. <laughs> it's fun. You should be. I should. You're very decorated. I know. I want to like set up Airbnbs. I think that'd be a good idea. Perfect. I'll flip houses. I'll stage them. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I had to look or I would miss it. <laughs> um, you have some information. I do have some information. Why are you recording this? Because you're being so annoying. We talked about this <laughs> last episode. It got your attention, didn't it? Yeah, you said you didn't want the attention. On I know. I don't, but I do about this topic. <laughs> okay. When? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go over some seasonal home prep um, since we're talking about decorating for the seasons and everything. All the other holidays are coming up too where everyone's going to be start decorating. Um, so the first one is for exterior. Um, all your fall wreaths, your pumpkins, your outdoor lighting, everything like that. Make sure that they're weather resistant. You don't want any type of electrical fires or anything like that. Battery powered is a good option these days. They have a lot of battery um, powered lights and everything like that. So we do get a lot of rain in Florida, so 
be careful yeah. with the electrical wires and everything while you're decorating. We'll know if you start a fire. We'll know. We will. <laughs> we'll be on the news. <laughs> we'll find it. Volusia County. Oh, I know all about Volusia County. Mm -hmm. Yes. Active calls. <laughs> on my most recent search. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, another thing is while you're up on your roof and possibly decorating and everything, take a look at your gutters. Make sure that they don't need any cleaning or they're not backing up or anything like that. That's a good tip while you're already up there. Just go ahead and clean those gutters off. You don't want them backing up, especially with all the rain that we had. So yesterday, quick point, um, I took my dog to dog training. And, you know, it looked like it was about to rain. Mm -hmm. It started sprinkling for a while. And then the training's an hour. So when we went in, beginning of training, just sprinkling, sprinkled for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Towards the end, right before I was leaving, it was hurricaning outside. Out of nowhere. Florida. Um, so, I mean, think about it. When your gutters are filled with debris and whatever else, when those are backed up, your water has nowhere to go. So it's just gonna back up onto your roof. And then you're gonna think that your roof is leaking. So you have to clear out your gutters. Mm -hmm. But yeah, good point. Same thing as like debris just sitting on your roof, like we said earlier. Like you just have to make sure we're doing those cleanups because they can cause those yeah. leaks and make your roof a soft spot and make that wood get really deteriorated and underneath and everything like that. It's not good. Um, so another safety tip is while we're hanging up stuff, use proper hooks and avoid nails. You don't want any nails going into your siding or in your roof, your gutters, anything like that. Put any type of um, hold. Thank you. That's not what I was going to say. Penetrations and those type of <laughs> materials that protect your home. Um, <laughs> and then a roof and chimney check also while you're outside, just always take a look, make mental notes on what's going on. If anything looks different, always get those inspections done if you see anything that's not right. So I used to live in Delta and there's this guy. I'm pretty sure it's on Providence. Okay. But there's this guy who goes all out. Since you mentioned getting up on a roof, mm -hmm. most people I see them, you know, decorate their yards, their house, whatever. This guy decks out his house including the roof. He has like bodies coming out of the roof. I mean, they're not really coming out of the house, but you know, he's, he gets up on his roof to put all these things on there to make it look like there's bodies coming out of the roof. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. That's another reason why I brought up like roofs decorations because like most people don't go on their roofs for Halloween to decorate, you know, that's usually like a Christmas light type of thing. But my neighbor had this big headless horseman statue that they put on top of their roof every freaking Halloween. So that's what made me think of it. Like, it's not a common thing, but some people get up there some and go all out. All out. Yeah. yeah. So. I appreciate oh, those people. They put in the work. <laughs> so. So. We're going to leave you guys with a roofing tip. Roofing tip of the week. Um, protecting your roof and attic space from animals, rodents, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, there are critter guards that you can get, um, that you can place over your pipe boots and vents and that I was about to say, those go on like your ventilation yeah. system and stuff. Um, closing up any, um, any potential entry points of the roof so or make sure your soffit's not hanging down or broken. That's what I was about to say because I have a piece of my soffit that's broken and I'm pretty sure that's where some of these critters are getting in from. Yep, that or um, getting pest control done quarterly, whenever, whatever. Yeah, and get your well. yearly roof inspection done as well. Yeah, um, so there's a couple things to think about. Critter guards and inspections and everything like that, we should get those critters out of there. Yeah, they could also be coming in from the heat, the rain, so. That's true. Well, that's a wrap. You didn't see last time. <laughs> <laughs>